this video is sponsored by the gaming app MM Arcade. Every week you can win up to $1,000 by taking part in various beauty pageants. Download today to receive 3000 m cash to join any category of your choice. You can download MM Arcade from Google Play Store. Hello queens and princesses! Welcome to another episode with your fabulous Ishan Queen. I'm back on the topic of sex work. So I already posted a video on sex work. I don't know if it's still on my YouTube channel, but you can definitely find it on my Facebook page where I gave tips on how to maximize your business if you want to go into sex work. But today I want to talk about another aspect of sex work and that is the exploitation part of it because many times women do not go into sex work because they want to but because they feel like that's the only option they have and so today i would like to explore the many ways you know women feel constrained to take this route even though they would prefer to be doing something else so i would like to start from a post that went viral a while ago where women were asked if they will sleep with a man for money if the money was needed to save the life of their son. Many women said, yes, I will sleep with a man for money. I would become a prostitute even just for one day if that is what it takes to save the life of my son. But the question is, why would a man who knows that you need money to save your son's life even demand that you sleep with him before he gives you the help that you need? But Brisky is always preaching about sex work. He's always telling women to use the, what they have to get what they want. In other words, use your pussy to hustle. I do not have any problem with any woman using her pussy to hustle. But I do have a problem with anybody telling any woman that the only way that she can make it is if she uses her pussy to hustle. Bob Risky is a man who dresses as a woman. He is a cross-dresser. There was a time I believed that he was transgender, but he is not ever since he said that he is just borrowing our gender and that he uses it better than us. Like, he is so fucking annoying. Bob Risky, like other men, believe that women have it easy. Because as a woman, if you have a vagina, there is no reason why you should be broke. You should be using your vagina to make money every day every month every year for the rest of your life so if you are a woman and you are struggling financially it means that you are not exploiting your femininity the way you should let's go back to the history of distribution of wealth men owned properties okay women stayed at home to care for the children and for the house men went out to hunt men went to the farm so men were the ones bringing in the goods men were the ones owning the land so money had always been with the men even though the woman made the decisions on how the money should be spent it is still not her money if it's not your money it is not your money period so the only way women could access this money that was owned by men was by getting in a relationship with this man it's either they dated them or they slept with them or they married them. But whatever decision they made, it always involved having sex with this man. So for the longest time, women have been using sex as a trade by banter just to get money for themselves. And because men own the properties, they made the rules. Because a man can live without sex, even though they say that they cannot, they can live without sex. But you woman, how do you live without money? Everything is money in this world. This house I'm in right now costs money. The electricity costs money. Food, clothes, hair, makeup, every single thing that I have, I bought it with money. Or someone bought it for me, but they still used money. So money is an essential. Sex is not. So you tell a man, I will not sleep with you. The man goes on to live his life and you go on to suffer. So at the end of the day, you really do not have any choice but to give in because you want to live a good life as well. That is how men started using sex and money 
to dominate women. Even though they tell us that women have the power when it comes to sex because there is power in the vagina, there is no power in the vagina because like I said, money and sex, one is a necessity, the other is not. The person who can provide the necessity is the person with the power. Now think of how, you know, the degradation, the humiliation, the subjugation women have been made to undergo just so they can access the resources that men possess. Men are the ones that own the financial power in this world. Fortunately, times have changed and are still changing. Now women can access wealth without having to pass through a man. And this is the reason why I have a problem with Bob Brisky because Bob Brisky is still reasoning like a man. He is still trying to put women in that position where they have to go to men, beg them, accept ridiculous conditions just to have money. But you woman, you can make your own money without going through that route. You can make money by doing other form of businesses. Now, if you choose to become a sex worker, even though you have the options of doing other jobs, then go for it. But if you are looking at sex work as your only option, I'm telling you right now that it is not your only option. And do not let anybody deceive you into believing that it is your only option, especially not a stupid man dressed as a woman. Right now, women are in the position to make offers as well because now they have the financial power too. So they can make offers, they can make demands, they can say, I want you to give me this because I have the necessity that you need. Nothing is more empowering than having your own money. The system has been so ruined, so corrupt for long, that women automatically assume that if they ever go to a man for money, they have to put sex on the table first. I'm saying money right now because that is the focus of it. But any form of help at all. Like a woman believes that before she can make any demand from any man, she has to be available to have sex with a man. I remember the story of a little girl who hawks granuts or something like that. And even though she was giving these men a product in exchange for their money she still believed that she had to have sex with this man because somehow in her head she believes that the men are doing her a favor by buying her product and so it is not enough that she gives these men the product that they have paid for she also has to give them her body they even make the offer before the man states what he wants in return and now I'm asking the men, must you accept that offer? Must you sleep with a woman, a girl, before you can be a decent human being? Before you can patronize them? Because I have cases of women who are my Facebook friends. And, you know, sometimes they write that a man wants to buy their products, right? They tell the man the price. The next thing the man is telling them, can you bring the products by yourself? Or where do you live? Why do you think he's asking? Why do you want to know where I live? Why do you want me to bring the product by myself when I have someone that does a delivery for me? I need your address. You don't need mine. But that is the mentality that whatever thing a man does for a woman is a favor. Even though it is a service that is being rendered like the woman has a service that she is rendering and the man is paying, but that is not enough for him. He wants her too. He wants her body. He wants that power over her. And some women have been so conditioned that even before the man says it, they already offer themselves. Now, the onus of this is for the women to stop thinking that they must give their body. And then the men must do their part and stop demanding for a woman's body before they can be decent human beings and render help. Oh, goodness. If I don't get headache. Oh, sorry. I'm even already getting headaches. I have headaches every day these days. So, <laughs> anyway, guys. This is all I have to say in this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. 
let me go and take paracetamol because oh my god oh my god bye bye